Appleberry. We begin today with breaking news out of Southampton County. A 19-year-old woman whose two-year-old son and her ex-husband are dead. Sheriff's officials believe the ex-husband is responsible. Right. Never mind the calories in this story. Think of the other health benefits of chocolate. Better yet, ask for the dark kind. Bob Hansen report. Now a few other important points. Men buy most of the chocolates during Valentine's Day, which means that most chocolates are sold at the last minute, hey, hey, Don. Hey, hey, hey. Bad weather has delayed the departure of thousands of local sailors. The USS Wasp Expeditionary Strike Group started leaving yesterday, and now two more ships will leave Naval Station Norfolk tomorrow. It says eat out, gain weight, and it's true. Restaurants and fast food outlets are filled with those fat traps, but more and more restaurants these days are dishing up diet food. 10 on your side's Roseanne Coletti has details from ordinary to fancy restaurants in the Big Apple. Hi there and welcome to Kid Talk everyone. I'm your host Carolyn Castleberry. Have you ever gotten a message in your email box that was really great or maybe unusual story that sounded true so you passed it along to everyone you know? Well these stories are entertaining, they're informational, often bizarre, Sometimes they're kind of scary, and they're called urban legends. Indeed I do. You've been looking at some of our wonderful volunteers and our crew members. And speaking of someone who's been a loyal volunteer for MDA, I want to introduce you to a special friend to us here at Wavy TV, a friend of mine, Glenda Boatwright, our newsroom secretary. But really, we think of her as our newsroom mom. Glenda has worked on this telethon for years with us. Not long ago, she was diagnosed with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It attacks the nerves, causing muscles to waste away. And really, a lot of this began with you and I looking at this book. This is my Merck manual. I do some health reporting here, trying to figure out what was going on. We couldn't figure it out for a long time. You and I, reading this book. It is a legal thing, and you go and Just your murder. supporters kill people. Murder is illegal. The street fight over abortion is fueled by angry, hostile, uncompromising voices on both sides of the issue. But one voice has been drowned out by all the shouting, the quiet voice of the solitary woman who makes this decision. Earlier this morning, we also covered the homecoming of the destroyer Karen. We actually began this story about six months ago with one very special family. Wake up, everybody. So this is what people do at 7.30 in the morning to get ready for a homecoming. For many women, this is what investing looks like. A bunch of screaming people, mostly men on Wall Street. And they're more fearful of the market, so they, they choose to stay out of the marketplace altogether. It's amazing. The pictures look completely different on the streets of Washington today. Photographer Will Glenn and I feel like we were caught in the middle of a holy war. It started with a protest and ended in a fight. This isn't Jerusalem, warring factions fighting in the streets. This is 17th Street in Washington, where the story ends and also begins. Earlier in the morning, Palestinians for and against Yasser Arafat made their voices heard loud and very clear. Meet Brigade Commander Amy Morrison. Out! Only the third woman in history to hold this title and this responsibility. Again! On this mantle are the symbols of childhood in the new millennium. A wooden trunk, a toy train, prescription drugs for depression, ADHD, you name it. They're hurting me! They're hurting me! <laughs> Meet nine-year-old Matthew Hubley. This is videotape shot by his parents during some of his rages at home. He'll foam at the mouth. He'll be in a neverland. He's not here when he's in a rage. You can't, there's nothing you can say or do to get him out of that rage until whatever is causing it is gone away. Matthew's case is extreme. It started years ago with small acts of defiance. Now he's labeled as a violent, out-of-control child. He's had uh, 19 hospitalizations. Uh, he spent two uh, stints at a residential treatment center, five and a half months each time. Attends a special school. 
is on uh, six different medications a day. Matthews even been on the Montel Williams show, but he spit at the host. But let me, you can spit at me too, that's fine. But I need to talk to you for a second, okay? Can I do that? That's my sister. Mm -hmm. That's my niece. That's my niece. Aww. We were fortunate to interview Matthew on a calmer day. I just usually find words and then see if they're on the list, and I just found one. What do you like best to do? Puzzles. Really? Why? Because it's fun. You feel like you're kind of solving a problem and stuff like that? Doctors say many children who have these violent rages are very intelligent and good at solving puzzles. Boys are more physically aggressive, and girls tend to express their anger verbally. These kids don't like to be rushed and don't like a change in routine. There are a lot of symptoms for violent children, but very few answers. Do you want to find an answer? Yeah. How come? Why is it important? So I can get at the school I'm going to and go to regular school. But as for the future, any childhood dreams? I don't have dreams, I have nightmares. And they got out earlier today, but the residents who are still here are taking this very seriously. Now take a look at the water. <laughs> this is what it's like.